Hey there, good morning all and welcome to Telvex Committee. I'm Ashutosh Singh, your guide for this video. So basically, uh, what we're going to learn about this lecture, let's understand first, okay? Ultimately, this video is designed to understand how we can connect Microsoft VS Code to remote SSH Linux server, right? Although the installation is not required, but still I just want to, you know, give you some quick ideas how you install it because uh, maybe if somebody is not having VS Code, then how are you gonna install either on Windows or Mac? So the overall thing, if you see here, we are going to get the installation done in very few minutes and plugins, what is plugin in VS Code and then remote connect and then setting option, right? So let's, let's see here. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about first this is, you know, VS Code offering by Delvex community. And we are going to talk about first what is the operating system and compatibility of VS Code for installation, right? So as you understand, or maybe might be knowing earlier that VS Code is a very popular software for developers. And you can install it in Windows, Linux, and Mac. So I'm just, just gonna show you how you're gonna install first on Windows, then on Mac quickly, right? The, the requirement is very, very, you know, uh, short you have minimum ram or cpu it is going to be all okay now the third thing is as you understand you can download for anything so i have already my windows machine where the vs code is downloaded in case you want to see the link i'm just gonna type vs code download and do not download apart from official websites right so here you go and you see here i just clicked here and i simply got that one which is right here so let me quickly just double click it as you understand vs code installation in, or any software installation in windows it's very easy accepting the license going for next i'm just going with all the default option you don't have to almost click anything just keep going keep going and in few seconds the installation will be done okay Meanwhile, this is getting installed. I'm also going to show you in case you want to install on Mac OS, then how you can, you know, do that simply. So I'm gonna go here. I have already, you know, this uh, thing downloaded. As I have showed you here, you want to install for Mac also. Here is the link, same. And I have it. So just double click. It is going to give me the VS Code app, right? And you can just directly double click it okay but what you have to do for mac just open your finder go to application tag you know application tab and choose this app vs code file and drag and drop here that's it okay this is how simple the installation is if you want to just open that vs code let's say you can search it vs code and uh, it is going to take few seconds for the first time and it is going to be you know installed for this one okay it, it got installed i already have it so it is like that but you'll be getting it like this for the first time like this one or maybe if i just close and open it again so you see here it will be like this okay similarly if i go back to windows here let me just now close it and see it is now finished if you want to start in windows also it will be all same okay so i will be just closing it and let me search it again and this is it got here okay it is connecting to remote system since uh, i am using it very long i just uninstall and install it again for you guys right so this will be a first visual look here so i believe now you understand you know how we are simply going to install it now it has multiple feature code linting you know debugging and all so that is uh, not the right time to talk about but it is very very popular and it support more than 50 plus languages and 100 or 1000 plus frameworks right the next thing we would like to talk about is plugins basically let's say uh, if you want to uh, go for any uh, coding maybe python java or something so you can install that support in simply here let's say this is the plugin section if you go here and you type for example python right so you're going to get that one click here and install it so it will help you to you know write code 
but our job in this section is to install a plugin called SSH so I'm just typing SSH and uh, I'm clicking here and I'm going to install it first since it is installed in my system already so I'm just installing it here make sure when you use this make sure this one remote SSH by Microsoft itself right similarly on Mac also if you want to do the same so you just go to plugin section and search for SSH find the first one by Microsoft if it is not installed it will be showing like this install it few seconds job and done now this is for the one who are going to use VS Code to code or to do practice on remote machines okay what is the meaning of that imagine many many times in some of the organization many many times in some of the organization what we do we have this VS Code you know installed in our machine but let's say your Linux server is running somewhere now this is your laptop or a PC from here you can use this plugin to connect your VS Code to this remote Linux server and for that purpose we are installing this one right so that whatever code or things you want to run or write or you know do anything it will be remotely available here but you will be using VS Code on your local system so through this plugin it will be doing things right there okay now how to connect any remote Linux server using VS Code so let me tell you from the Windows side first although the step is gonna be almost same so here I'll go in Windows machine and I install this once you do that if you see in the bottom it is the green button okay so first I need username password and IP address of remote server so I have this IP address already okay and I'm going to you know just click here on the very bottom you see the green button click here then choose the first option which is connect to host okay click here and write your username which is in my case OPC at the rate IP address so OPC is the username of the, uh, the next server remotely and the IP address also so just enter it is going to open a new window it is asking to choose what is the target or remote platform which is the next obviously so you have to choose the next and then it is asking to continue for the first time okay it may ask or not ask also depending on if you're connecting to the server first time if you're connecting first time it will be asking continue and finally password so I'm typing my password uh, 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 so and if I'm not mistaking anything then it will be connected yes perfect you can choose the host again okay I think maybe I might have missed something okay I'm typing password again enter and yes if you see in this new window in the bottom SSH and the remote IP address is written now you can simply close the previous window and this window is enough to go with right if you want to open a terminal in remote Linux server you know that under file and all these options we have a terminal you can click on new terminal and see you got connected here directly let's say who am I and you can run all the next command here now many times to code we have to create some folder and do some steps so let's say I'm creating a folder let's say uh, my code or for example Dell Vex code and I want to do all these things here so what you can do just create any folder like this and then you see option open folder if you're not able to see here just go to file option and choose the open folder option I'm clicking here it is going to give me a drop down automatically I choose this folder and click on ok okay it is going to ask for for password one more time which is I'm typing all right And yes this is important I am trusting this folder and also yes I trust the folder okay it is asking me twice maybe some reason although it is not going to happen with you in many case depending on what a remote server provider is okay so it got connected here now you see you got the left hand panel and if you open terminal it will be open in that remote folder which you can see here right so now you can start creating folder let's say by right click 
I want to create a folder, let's say Python. I want to create one more folder, let's say Java and all. And if I want to some create some files also, just go here and right click and do. Okay, hello.py, right? So you can start like that. Similarly, if you want to do with the Mac, also same step, take that one, okay? And uh, click, connect to host, OPC at the rate this, OPC is my username, enter. It is not going to ask much details, okay? Directly got connected. It will ask password also, since I have set up a direct uh, passwordless connection, it is how it is, right? That is all about it. If you have any question, please ask in comment section. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your day and bye-bye. Take care.